Hit me on right here with Aristotle Investment. Poppy C, you and C got with me too for Calvary. Hey, what's up? It's your girl, B Glow, and I'm right here with my boy Aristotle. I get it. He about to teach me about these dividends and saving money. It's your boy DC Young Fly, man. I'm here with my boy Aristotle. Shout out to Aristotle. I took his class. Man, this, this dude is the truth, dog. He just put me on game on like. Investments, dividends, stock market. I sit around with a bunch of my friends and we talk about stocks all day now. Man, I'm telling you, man, it's crazy. Stupid knowledge, you did. I've learned so much. Aristotle has put my trading level on top. I done learned so much about stock trading, options in particular. It's really changed my whole life and concept about money and investing. This dude taking, taking people off the corner, man. I can honestly just say that like before Aristotle, dude, I was trading off of Impulse. A um, little bit of stuff I learned off of YouTube with this package, it's the real deal. It'll get you trading off of real facts. You'll be able to back check and you'll be able to know what you're doing, not just jump in because you think it's right. I really should go check out the campaign. You really got something going on. Y'all know me, I'm trying to get my 100 M's any kind of way I can. Yeah. This is Aristotle Investments and welcome to Stock Sundays where I go over a recap of last week's top news you may have missed, option trade recaps and strategies I take, important data and earnings to look forward to, a watch list for next week, and if you stay to the end I do a live Q&A and $200 cash app giveaway $50 to 4 people. Tap in. What's going on? What's going on everybody? It's your boy Aristotle Full Throttle R with Derard. God bless all of you. Thank you guys for tapping in. Remember I appreciate every last one of you. Who decide to tap in on stock sundays all right god bless all of you so you guys already know what we about to get into but before i do you guys know the drill tell me where you from i already got some people telling me where they from we got savannah georgia we got new york brick city oh he giving his whole his whole address new york usaa come through projects grape street <laughs> Thank you. I'm 100% tapping in the community. Appreciate that, you guys. Buffalo, Sunrise, Florida, Athens, uh, Ohio, um, Charlotte, H-Town, Tuskegee. Okay, y'all from everywhere. Nigeria. I got on some Ghana fit right now. Philly, Atlanta. Y'all out here. Arizona, Pittsburgh, Compton. I just want to tap it so you guys can always see this. Just to show everybody love, I right? Dominican Republic, Jersey, Indianapolis, Connecticut, Tampa. All right, thank you guys so much for tapping in. God bless all of you. God bless everybody from everywhere they're from, Baltimore, West Virginia. I seen all of them. Brooklyn, God bless all of you. Fitzgerald, Georgia, never heard of it, but wow. Cobb County, <laughs> my boy KJ, what's up, brother? And then Albany, okay, nice. All right, all right. So y'all know what time it is. Make sure y'all smash that like button for me. Thank you so much. All right, so we all know the drill. We're going to go over a recap of last week. We're going to go over some news points. But most importantly, we need to get into the Sunday watch list because that's what we are here for. And that's honestly my favorite part, too. I, I don't really care about all the politics and the news. I'm more of a price action guy. Uh, what does the chart say? And you know you know you. You guys know I love fundamentals as well. I like to go into Yahoo Finance and check the balance sheets, things like that too. All right? So let's get right into it, my folks, my folks, my beautiful people. So news recap. What do we have? We got UPS who is doing two things at once. They're going to hire a bunch of people and then they're going to fire a bunch of people. So I believe the new trend today is uh, seasonal workers, which is, you know, who knows if you know if you like the nine to five type if i can work for ups for three months then i can work for um one job you know i could do seasons so you know during the holiday time that's when people hiring because they need more help cool you know what i'm saying let's keep that trend going but you know ups just announced it's planning to hire more than 100k people to work for the holidays but then they're also trying to replace the uh 140k people not really 140k but trying to mitigate that amount because they saying it's too many inside workers and i'm pretty sure they're, they got people on payroll doing nothing because that's just life right not me though aristotle everybody on my payroll has to work it's how it goes all right so um you guys can hear me right of course 
Spotify. Um, so basically a bunch of AI stuff going on. Spotify wants to translate your voices into uh, new languages. And then you got, let me make sure this is correct. Hold up. There we go. I fixed the mic for you guys. But yeah, Spotify wants to translate in a whole bunch of new languages and then OpenAI is gonna roll out new voice implications and Hollywood is also done with their strike after 150 days they had to reach an agreement. Shout out to the strikers, shout out to the people who were um, striking for their money because that is right, I ain't gonna lie to you. If, you. if you're a writer and you can't get paid and now they're trying to say streaming because streaming is that a uh, service that tried to bully people in the beginning by not disclosing how much you know they're worth or how what they're willing to pay and then people called on to it and like hey, hey, hey you're not finna just roll up all over us so you know you know how this go so yeah uh, streaming is something else and then all this ai talk here we go again in my opinion i don't see too many people uh hip to chat gbt like unless it's new so what i'm learning is in order for stuff to catch on, we really, really need a need for it, or else we're going to move on from it. Like the NFTs, like the uh, like nostalgia still has a place in America. Even though we're trying to roll out all these new products, no one wants the, the new goggles, the new phones. The, we want the new phone, but we don't care for the new sunglasses with the technology and all of that, you know. I, and I'm, and I'm kind of glad that humans are staying human in some form. I love that. You know, I don't see too many, like, put a, who uses ChatGBT on the daily? Put a me. If, if you use this every single day, can't live without it. I still feel like writing my own scripts. I still feel like creating, like, when you're a creative, you know, nothing can stop you. Now, I could see my children probably loving this stuff to make work life easy. You have to grow up on this stuff. You didn't grow up on it. I grew up 27 years, 26 years without using AI. I don't know, man. I don't use, this guy uses it. Okay, some people have it for work though. I don't use it every day. It's not for me. I don't have a reason to, but that's just me. Me, I can live without it, but I, I use it every day. Okay, I've been using it sometimes. People hurt, somebody said y'all capping. <laughs> I said people heard of chat GPT, but they not using it like that. Some people say they use it for business. I mean, there are uses for it. it. Depends on what you do for a living. I know AI has been around since the 1950s, but the way the way AI is used today, like hey, of course AI been around forever. There was a movie called Artificial Intelligence with that little boy with the teddy bear. Y'all remember that? It's called AI, Artificial Intelligence. So uh, we did so well this week. Shout out to Honey Drip. Someone profited 48K per month. So this is what I like to see. I like to see consistency, you know? So you got this person making 4K, 3K, 5K, 4, you know what I'm saying? Like we want to see numbers like this across the board for everybody. These are great numbers. And look at that, 48K in a month by averaging just 2.5K a day. You can you can make some big numbers and then they even took a big loss, lost eight thousand, but won thirteen K the next day. This person Mojo Jojo, he's been in the chat for a minute. Good for you, my brother. He's trading like a pro. And then we have and he said admin call out. So these are all call outs, folks. If you just pay attention, you can make some money. And then uh this person account is up two thousand percent in three months. Okay? So this is the type of stuff you can do. That means this person started with $200, all right, and turned it into 8.7K. Nice, all right. And then we also have more consistency. You guys see this? Consistency. This is what we practice, consistency. It's not about, you get what I'm saying? It's just, it's just about consistency, my folks. It ain't about all that other stuff. It's about consistency. And you will take losses, but this person, you see how they they manage to come back from that loss. You see, consistency. You will take a loss. Everybody takes a loss. Look at this. 
no matter who, you're going to take a loss. You see that? He took a loss. But it's about winning more than you lose. This is real trading, and these are all different people within the chat. Again, more consistency. Consistency. You see what I'm saying? This is what this is about. Losing a little, winning a lot. That's what trading is about, my folks. And this is what I did this week. Went crazy, day trade after day trade after day trade. You missed a beautiful week if you ain't in this chat. That's all I got to say. Uh, I went crazy. Only lost one trade, and it's still in progress. So if it go, if Netflix calls go, then you know I would have went 100% this week. I only lost one trade this week. Yep. So the small account challenge, we're still doing it. This is the small account challenge. The account is up 100%. I flipped that whole 2K to 4K. Now it's time to go to the next level, which is 6K. All right? So, you know, comment. Make sure you get into the chat. If you're not already in, you can you can do a trial for $25 for the first 100 people, selling out every time we do Stock Sundays. And then if you want to participate in the small account challenge, or we have a how to grow your small account video, learn how to analyze charts, stock and option tech signals, private Q&A every, every weekend via Zoom, all of that, okay? So we do a lot in this chat. We do a lot, and you guys know that, okay? Tap in, 25, you can get in. God bless every last one of you. Now, let's get into this watch list, my folks. Biggest movers and losers, though. AMD, which I called last Sunday, went crazy, right? And then we got NVIDIA, uh, all of this, right? Crazy. Don't play. And then we have the biggest losers, NE, IBM, PEP, all of this good stuff. But AMD was a banger. We don't play. All right. So let me get into this question real quick because, you know, you guys, if you want the questions, Aristotle, do you think someone like myself who works 10, 12 hours, days roofing could find benefit in your Discord? Really want to join, but I'm scared. I won't have time to consistently be on my phone. So we do swing trades for people like you who uh, don't have time. So those people enjoy my small account challenge. So if you see right here, um, and we're going to get into it after I finish this question. But if you see right here, let me try to go back. You see that? So I'm calling these plays. So you see these swings? These are what you would want to pay attention to, the swings. So, you know, you would have made, you know, some money. That's what you would have made, some money. So pay attention to the swing channel. Or if I call swings, we, we will be calling those. All right? And that's how you work with a nine to five. But let's get into the data and important news. <sighs> I hate this every single time because they always want to do stuff. Uh, job openings, ADP management, weekly unemployment claims. Oh, thank God. No CPI, no shit like that this week. Looks like a free week of uh, trading for the first time in history. We have, um, it's been a minute. I mean, we still got jobs and jobs and jobs and weekly unemployment, all of that, but no CPI and no FOMC for the first time. And I can't remember. Oh man, can we please get a round of applause for that? Make sure you guys continue to leave a like. All right. Shout out to all 800 people in here. I love you guys. All right. Now, remember, you know, it started with 100, then it started with 2, then it started with 3, and now we're at 8. Every time we get in, then peak be like 1,000, 1,500, you know, stuff like that. So I like that. Uh, Levi's has earnings. No real earnings this week. Uh, my seasoning has earned. I love McCormick's. I mean, even though I don't cook, I like it. I like to eat it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she like, yeah. <laughs> my wife going to say, yeah. Yeah, I don't cook nothing. I will one day. Anyway, let's get into this watch list, my folks. Let's get into this watch list. So we're going to try to... All right. So, I, I put it to where it's full screen. I'm going to start doing this for now on to just putting it towards full screen. But yeah, the, the part that uh got me was 
even though spy is bouncing off this trend line so we got a trend line bounce here a, a second touch of support here and arguably a third touch here even though it's kind of like not really you know but yeah we could say arguably so that's my only thing like could this be a dead cat bounce or are we trend lower because we did we have not trended above the 8 ema which is this green line we uh and you see it was a break and retest here so you see during this level this support level right here see that let me make this pink you know let me make it a color we we haven't seen yet green all right green line see that this was support it broke support and then retested support so that's why i bought puts up here um that's why puts friday puts were the move because of this break and retest of the aema on the daily chart and as you can see it tanked from there and we could get a bounce we could get a we could trend lower here and keep going from here but so far we have a third touch of trend line so you know i'm expecting us to keep going and the only reason this this was the reason why we bounced from here because this this uh support level here so that was the real reason we decided to bounce and as you can see it was held, holding this and then kept going at one point we also have a gap here so yeah we have a lot going on i don't i think we keep going up my personal opinion but we shall see and when we do go up, we might as well, you know, not delete this line because we could come back right here. And then this will be a pivotal moment when we get in right here. It might chop a little bit before either breaking this support or, you know, keep going. So let's go look at some more stocks. This is QQQ. Sorry, I be having a lot of lines up when I be trading. Can't help it. So you probably can't even read. This chart probably isn't legible because this, this is just ridiculous at this point all right there we go a little legible now but yeah qqq had a support level broke this support level again went to the aema rejected the aema so that's why i didn't swing anything over the weekend because you know we still have a gap to fill right here but who knows this could potentially break support and if it does then you know that doesn't mean it's the end of a bull run it just means we decided that you know we're going to chop around all year but we might finish this year strong tesla looks pretty good to keep now tesla is my favorite setup for bullish now i swung it here so we got in tesla swings that swing you saw on the balance sheet well not the balance sheet but the uh spreadsheet is when we caught here when it trended to the 61.8 golden pocket and usually when these things bounce at the golden pocket, they usually always come here. So that's my one hope for uh, the Bulls is Tesla. Tesla should more than likely get back to 278. Whenever it bounces off this level here, it nine, I would say seven times out of 10, eight times out of 10 gets here to the top. It could, so yeah. I plan, I did do a long swing on Tesla and I do plan on, getting out if it gets here from right here and stop loss would be here so because i entered here i'm already up a lot i'm up like eight bands and i plan on taking profits here so i'll probably profit maybe like a 40 or a 30k if it gets here and then i'll stop out at zero so it's either i make forty thousand, or you know so that's just a swing i'm doing on the side i put in like 15k it's already up eight but i think it's going to get here so that was my uh, bet. But if it doesn't lose, my stop loss is back to break even. So right now I'm up 8,000, you know, and if it gets back below here, cool. Who cares? But that's my theory with Tesla. I'm just letting you guys know, yes, I am in a long swing. And if, and you guys already know I'm in leaps. So that's another, it's no secret that I, I swing long on, on certain things. So yeah, I think uh, Tesla should retrace back to 278 up to these up to these highs within the next two to three weeks if you know this fib level holds itself pretty nice so that's my theory with tesla now with amazon this also looks kind of weird because we broke we broke trend line 
you know, we bounced here, we're holding this level. So we could hold. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think we're going to hold support levels, but, you know, we got to be prepared for both. I think we're going to hold. I'm kind of confident we're going to hold. How long is my swing? Like five months out. And then Apple, is this bullish divergence? Nearly. We got a low. So Apple is experiencing a little bullish divergence here. We have a lower low, but the RSI is making a higher low, and the MACD is making one. So if the MACD crosses upward, if the, if the green crosses above the uh, purple, this could be an indicator for a, um, a swing. You know, so, and it could also get to this 200 in May down here. So Apple looks like it wants to touch this 200 in May again. So I'm paying attention to that too. If we do decide to go lower, Apple is flirting with this 200 in May, but it has bullish divergence here. So I wouldn't be surprised if it just, you know, flirted with it and then it could keep going. But it still has this resistance line which could be a, a good put play here when it gets there. And then the rest is kind of history. I, you know, I'm just being honest with you guys. This is a day trading type of situation we're in. Although I think we're at key levels to bounce, these were the best levels to buy. You know, I put this box here because I, you know, wanted to buy Microsoft there. Um, NVIDIA looks like it could um, reject here so as you can see this was this pivotal line right here so you got to learn your lines so you see how when the video broke out of this line it retested this line went back to highs and then when it broke down this line right here it retested it and then fell and now it looks like it's trying to break out to continue the trend but we have a bearish candle here which could be a false breakout and it could reject here. So this line right here is very important with NVIDIA. And if we go to the one hour chart, you can kind of see it even more here. You see that? This line right here. And then it retested, broke out. And then when it was time for it to finally make a move, you know, down, and tried to come back, it retested, and I wanted to buy puts here so bad. You gotta, I gotta start trusting my, and the crazy thing is, I be really calling these, like behind the scenes. Like when this happened, I was like, man, it's gonna reject here. If y'all saw the amount of stuff I be calling in my head, you'll be like, man, what in the world? Like it get, it gets stickier than, what, than the signals I play. I be damn near calling the whole market. When I be charting, I be like, man, this shit gonna fall right here, and sure enough, it fell. And I'll be like, man, it's going to bounce right here. And sure enough, it bounces. All right? So, you know, that's just my two cents on everything. Um, and AMD. AMD, now, this is a pivotal one. Now, remember I called this bounce here. I told you guys this is high probability. And this thing went all the way here. Now, this looks like a falling wedge pattern. A, a huge one, too. So this, So, if AMD breaks out of here, this could be a huge breakout. I'm talking about nasty. But it rejected at this same rejection level. Same one. So, you know, unfortunately, you know, we can't do anything until we get a breakout. So we may get a breakout this week. But I'm watching for that. I would say my biggest watch is AMD for a break of this falling wedge pattern. If AMD breaks this green line, this resistance up here, especially with some rising volume in a, a bullish candle, a bullish green candle, this thing could reach highs. And it could go parabolic. It could go like four, five green candles in a row, and then it'll do a pullback. And if you miss those four or five green candles in a row, buy the pullback if it breaks this green line. So, yeah, um, that's what I'm watching. All right? That's what I'm watching. Now, if it – um. I'm day trading for the most part this week, only because we're at key levels of resistance. So why should I try to guess? 
That's another thing, folks. Don't try to be a hero. If you don't know, you don't know. I don't know right now with this market. Um, I did know when we were down here. I knew. Cool. Right here, this could be a resistance break or a rejection. So far, it looks like a rejection. But you got to be real with yourself. You feel me? But, yeah, we see somebody said that AMD call was a certified banger. I appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. And the ones who know, know. You know, I'm not on national TV with this or nothing like that. You know, people just know that I call good stuff. So if you know, you know. It's one of those things. But one thing I learned is you got to do it without people watching. I ain't on CNN. I ain't on none of this. I'm just doing this for the people who want it. It's not about getting national television. Like I'm calling shit better than Jim Cramer, better than whatever stock show you want to name. I don't care what they are. They ain't doing what I'm doing. And, you know, I don't care about the recognition. I really just care about all, what, 915 of you um, seeing what I'm doing and getting some money, folks. Somebody said, yeah, I made money off that um, AMD call, too. Nice. And that's what it's about, folks, financial freedom. You feel me? What price is this green line? This green line is like approximately 105. So if AMD breaks 105, we should uh, see some bullish action. I mean, hopefully. It's a great falling wedge play. And Alphabet looks like a break and retest here after it got filled. It went and filled this gap after um, this and then broke so yeah it could come down some more who knows i'm prepared for both directions though spotify was a good one i mean shopify my fault shopify was oversold on the rsi and it had bullish divergence right here Shop, I should have bought Shop. I ain't going to lie. It was a bullish engulfing off the 200 in May, just like AMD was. So Shop was a great buy here. A bullish engulfing off the 200 in May and support right here. After falling this low, that was a great buy. Should have bought Shop. And it was cheap. I'm pretty sure the contracts were cheap. Would have made like 100% on this swing. So, yeah, uh, my, my only regret was not buying this uh, dip on Shop. It was a great dip. It was a great dip. Bullish engulfing off the 200 in May, plus support right here. Great confluences. It was oversold on the RSI. Um, great. That was a great shop. And then who is this? Walt Disney still holding support, trying not to die, trying to hold on to this 80 level. 80 has been kicking Walt Disney's ass so far. So, yeah, Walt Disney. And let's see if we see a setup somewhere. Netflix looks like a great setup. Um, writers just got off strike. Surprise, Netflix didn't recover here. I'm trying to see if this is resistance here. So, yeah, Netflix is still trying to hold this uh, resistance. I mean, the support here. I kept saying resistance. You see that? We got support with this pink line. And Netflix is trying to hold this bad boy. I'm still in the swing, FYI. And, you know, if we keep going, then we keep going. I wanted a bullish action last week. But, you know, I feel like sometimes some of these folks be in my chat. Even though I went 90%, this should have hit. Every other stock went green except Netflix last week. All because Aristotle called it. You get what I'm saying? Just playing. I called everything else and it went just this one. But still, don't hate Netflix. You know you're supposed to go green about three days in a row. Great setup. Writers just got off strike. And then you, then when I get in this motherfucker, you want to play. So, yeah, Netflix looked like the one last week, but it's playing. You called Google Play that made me profit. Appreciate it. Okay, they said uh, actors start on their contract tomorrow. It still held up. He said, you know they in the chat. <laughs> Right, man. They playing with me, man. Come on now. Netflix supposed to go. Somebody said it be like that sometimes. They really do. Feel like they watching me or some shit. Uh, SQ, creators of Cash App, creators of, uh, they are not profitable. And, yeah, it's just bad. 
fintech is just losing apple they're not going to be able to compete with apple pay with uh with what's their name it's somebody independently killing them too called uh stripe i can't wait for stripe to go public then now that'll be a fintech i would invest in stripe before i invest in paypal and sq i want to know who owns them because what if they're already owned by like a major company i'll look it up I think they're independent though, because they were talking about IPO. But I like Stripe. Okay. He said, Black Millionaire. Hell yeah, they watching. Please appreciate it. Should we short who? Uh, so, uh, nah, you should have shorted them a long time ago, my brother. It's too late now. They might, you know, come back up here to retest and then short. You can short SQ if it comes back up to this green line. Now, that I'll do it. SQ trends back to uh here and fills all these gaps if it gets back to 52 you might as well short this might be a penny stock one day i mean i don't see how they could come back from that what about target uh target is still a profitable company who is this roku would never invest in roku and the rest i don't really like or see let's see if we see Something Chipotle, Texas Instrumental. This is MU Micron. This is Intel. Not a fan. I should have shorted IBM though. IBM was a great short up here. Should have shorted their ass up here. Tripping. Learning lessons though. I'm gonna just start taking my swings in a private account sometime. Not all the time, but. Just to see, because I, I call so much shit. Banks look weak. Yeah, this looks weak. Who is this? Bank of America broke uh, trend line support and breaking and retest here. It could keep coming down, honestly. Banks, I told people, though, I don't believe in banks. I believe people are have their money spread out in so many different assets. You got to think. Um... I won't say I don't believe in them. I believe they'll still be profitable and this and that, and you still need a place to cash in your check and transfer money. But we're pretty much pimping banks. You know what I mean? The accounts I keep getting closed because they be saying, oh, you're using your personal account for business. Well, fuck you then. Uh, USAA, fuck you. You get what I'm saying? All because we don't want to put our, keep our assets in here so you can invest our money. You get what I mean? That's all, all, banks are getting mad at us now because we don't want to hold our money with them. We want to put it there for two days and then go put it in Bitcoin. Leave it there for two days and put it in Robinhood. Leave it there for two days. They don't like that shit because they can't, they can't invest our money. So they closed down a few of my accounts because I'm an investor. I don't want to sit my fucking money in your, in your checkings account. I'm pimping you. I'm pimping you to, to do what the fuck I want to do which is go get some more money. You're not, and they're mad at that. And that's why they sinking. Cause they keep getting pimped. We all putting our money in investing accounts, real estate, crypto. Our money don't stay in the bank like it used to. So they can't invest a bunch of money. They're losing their assets to a bunch of different shit. And they don't like that. They hate the fact that they are now our bitches. You feel me? Yeah, they make they hate that they can't make plays with our bread. They hate that shit, bro. Somebody said, damn right. They said banks have been doing that for years. Yeah. They mad at us, folks. They mad at us because they can't pimp our money. All right, and we pimping them back. Every what what they say, what comes around goes around. And I'm going to keep pimping these banks, but now I got to do it the legal way. I got to do it through business. But you know me, I go transfer 50000 real quick into a, into an account. And then the bank will be like, why you ain't keep it there? Close. I'm like, bro, don't hate. Don't hate, bro. Don't hate because I ain't using yours. Banks are a Ponzi. All the, how they make their money is investing our money. But I think that the transfers I be making be such a large scale that they're going to close mine down if they can't keep the money. Facts. I just use the bank to spend while I invest everywhere else. Exactly. I don't keep no money like that in the check-ins. 
But y'all know what time it is. This your boy Aristotle Art with Arari. I gave you guys what I'm looking for. Uh, be safe this uh, week. Let's see if this is actually, if this is going to be a rejection or a bounce. All right, we have to uh, kind of play it safe because it looks like rejections off the eight EMA. So, you know, we gotta be careful. And I'm just being honest with you guys. That's the point of this show, right? To, to keep it real and 100 with you guys. If you follow me and you follow this show every week, then you know, you probably made a lot of money. Uh, also, put on me if you made money from watching Stock Sundays, because this right here is going to go viral. Watch how many people say me. Put on me if I made you money off Stock Sundays, all right? High yield savings account. And then we're going to see how many people say me. We Watch how many me's we give me a lot. All right, here we go. They spammed the me's. I can barely keep up with them. All right, me, Tariq, Tiffany, Shashan, Barbara, Greg, Kenneth, Christian, I mean, Chris Chambers, Coins, TJ, uh, Taylor, Larone, all them. I feel like I'm Petey Pablo, Keisha, Tanisha, Rashad, Rhonda, Monique, Christina, Yolanda. <laughs> uh, a lot, okay? Don't laugh, folks. I know I'm going to see some laughing emojis after I just said that. Famous Jay said me. Solomon said me. All right, Dominique. Everybody said me. Let's get it. But, yeah, we having fun, folks. They go to laughing emojis right there. Y'all know what time it is, man. Real nah, buddy from North Carolina. Shout out to Petey Pablo, North Carolina. All right. But y'all know what time it is, man. It's a, it's, it's a life, it's a lifestyle out here. God bless y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe to the chat. Honey Drip Trading. I love all you guys. All right. Please join the chat if you want to get this money. It's a great community. All right. Love you guys. See you guys later.